on to the lip glosses. Okay, so these are the Buxom lip glosses. These are probably my favorite lip glosses of life. So we have Berry Bramble. We have Rose Julep. We have Sangria and a cult classic White Russian. So I'm gonna keep all these because I do want to get some more of these and have like a full collection of these. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep these. Okay, so let's do these right here. These are from LA Colors. And these are really, really pretty. Um, so affordable and they're really, really bright and fun. That is a like swatch for you, really crappy swatch, but they're actually like really bright lip glosses. I have so many lip glosses that I think I'm gonna give these up, but I do recommend these, they are really good. This is the Milani Halt Flash in the shade, where are you? Flashy. And this color is just so not me. I mean, this is like really pretty minted and really pretty, but um, yeah, I'm just never gonna wear it. And I probably only wore this once, like in the house. <laughs> I didn't go out with it. Um, and then I have these, these are from Wet n Wild. These are all from Wet n Wild. Um, and these are their, uh, their color icon lip glosses, but I believe that these were like in a limited edition collection and they're just not good. Like they don't even show up. They have no pigmentation. They're just a simple gloss. Um, I hate everything about them actually. They're super sticky. Um, yeah, I just don't like them. I actually prefer these. These are the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks. These are actually really, really good. Um, I'm going to give up this one. This is Bloody Good. These are limited edition, so you can't even find them. But guys, look at that. That is like so pigmented. Sorry, you didn't even see the swatch. But they are just so pigmented. So that is Bloody Good from Wet n Wild. And although it's an amazing red, um, I just probably will never use it. So because it is a glossy red. I do like the nudes. I'm going to keep the nudes because I do use these quite a bit. And this one is so unique. Even though it is limited edition, I just, I love them too much to pass up. So this is um, from Madam Glam. And this is in Sangria. And it is gorgeous. I'm going to keep this as well. This is more of a lip lacquer, so it is super pigmented. So this is going to stay with me. Um, I love Madame Flam's products. They're just some of the best ever. So then I have my Marc Jacobs ones, and you guys know I'm not gonna give these up. Um, again, I probably won't purchase from Marc Jacobs anymore. And I do have a video on these, swatches and all that stuff if you wanna see them. I have another one that's in my um, my jacket, my jacket pocket, but um, yeah, these are really, really nice. These are like high, high shine lip glosses. And I mean, the color is there for lip gloss. So um, I do really like these. And for the amount that I paid for these, I'm going to keep them for sure. I have this NARS lip gloss and I'm gonna keep this one as well. Um, this is Greek Holiday. It's just a great like lip gloss topper. It's not like super pigmented or anything but it just has like re a really nice golden sheen to it and i love pairing this with my nudes these are not the best formula of glosses but um they're good they are a little on the stickier side so this one is anastasia and this is the um lip gloss in gilded it's one of my favorite golden lip glosses because i really like my golden lip glosses but this is like straight up gold like in your face um, yeah, it's really, really pretty. I've done a tutorial on this, um, using this, I should say. So, um, this is the Urban Decay Revolution lip gloss. This is probably my most used lip gloss. This is in the shade Kinky. I love the formula of these lip glosses. These are really, really pigmented. This is like the perfect nude, and I recommend this to anybody who loves lip glosses and love nudes. This is gorgeous, so I will be keeping that. I told you, lip glosses are going to be hard for me. Um, this is from Echo Bella, and this is in the shade Pleasure. And I'm going to give this up just because the shade isn't 
uh, the most flattering on me. It's a really pretty like shimmery lilac purple. But it just doesn't look good on me, so I'm gonna pass that one up. I have this uh, Lipstick Queen lip gloss um, in the shade Big Bang. Oh no, the Big Bang is lip gloss, Infinity or Infinite. Um, and it's just like a rose gold lip gloss, but it doesn't really show up. It doesn't really do much of anything. I love the packaging. It's like a test tube, but I think I'm gonna give this up as well. I have this uh, Bare Minerals one. This is the Marvelous Moxie in the shade Show Off, and it's just a really pretty pink. You know, everybody needs a pink like this in their life. It's kind of a milky pink, which is nice. I know my swatches are horrendous. I have these two purple lip glosses. This is the All Natural Face Speak Lip Gloss in Pretty and Purple, and then I have the uh, Urban Decay Revolution Lip Gloss in Bittersweet. And I don't really use purple lipsticks all too much. But I do really like purple lip glosses because they're a little bit more on the sheer side. So I'm going to keep both of these just because they are so unique. I have this Sonia Kashuk um, lip gloss in the shade Sexy. I'm going to give this up. Um, it's just like a, I don't know, like a raspberry kind of shade. So the formula is kind of thin. So it's a little runny on the lips, which I don't like. The packaging is kind of pretty, but yeah, I'm going to give that up. I am going to give up all of these. NYX um, butter glosses. They're just not my favorite. So I'm gonna give them all up. I have this um, Josie Marin Argon High Gloss Lip Quench. It's one of my favorites. So I'm going to keep this. It's very hydrating on the lips and it gives like a really nice pink tint. This one is from e.l.f. Oh my gosh, e.l.f. Lip glosses are amazing guys. They are just so good. Very pigmented, very creamy. I'm going to keep this. And I want to get more actually because they're so good. So this one is in Mark. I have this Laura Mercier lip gloss. I'm going to give this up. This is in the shade um, Nectar. I don't think I've ever used this. So I'm gonna give this up. This is a Sephora oil infusion. I don't know, lip gloss. I'm going to keep this and just put it in my purse, but I'm, I'm never gonna like purchase one of these. Uh, but they're okay. This is the Jessie's Girl Glow Sticks Lip Gloss in the shade Wicked. This is so pretty as a topper. It's just so unique that I just I have to have it in my life. Look at that. That's so cool. Okay, so there's that. This is the Aranes Lip Balm. And I don't know if I'm showing that correctly. But yeah, there it is. Marinesse Lip Balm and it's like super shimmery. It's a really good like topper and I honestly don't have anything else like it so I'm probably gonna keep this even though like the packaging is janky. It's like falling apart but I do really like this lip balm. Um, I'm going to give this up. This is the Sleek Makeup Look at 2012 guys. The year is there. Um, collection and this is in Pride. This is probably one of my, I don't know, like favorite lip products to be honest. But I still haven't used quite a lot of it. Although it is just so pretty guys. It's just so pretty. So that is going to be a hard one to give up. But I mean it's so old so I have to say goodbye to it because I'm sure it's just not good to have makeup for that long, you know. I'm going to give up this um, cocoa butter from Palmer's. It's the cocoa butter lip butter in mixed berry. Gonna give that up. Um, this is the Revolution Organics lip gloss in the shade Truth. Really pretty color. Um, I've used this quite a bit. I'm gonna keep this. I'm going to keep my Milani um, Emotional Lock because, I, I mean, I've had this for, for not too long and I really like it a lot. My Opal Lip Gloss, keeping that from Bite Beauty. I'm going to keep my um, Gosh Intense Lip Color. Um, I'm going to give up these lip balms because I've had them for such a long time. This is new, so I'll just use this and just, uh, yeah, I won't repurchase, but it's from Jack Black. This is the S2 Cooling Lip Oil. I love this stuff so much. Um, this is really, really great stuff. 
it's kind of minty it's nice this is from 100% pure it's the juicy lip gloss in the shade pink berry I think but this is a gorgeous lip gloss guys and I I just can't give this up yeah so keeping that um this is from Monica Dor. Monica Dar in the shade Lucky. This is actually a lip stain and it is really pretty. It's that right there if you can see that. Elise gave me this and I'm going to use it. This is the Skins Naturally Committed Balm. I'm going to give this up. It's from Balmtastic. Yeah. This is from It Cosmetics and I do really like this. I don't know. I think I'm going to give it up. This is the new Anchor, News Anchor Blue. Yeah, I do like it, but it doesn't whiten my teeth like it claims. So I think I'm going to give this up. And then this is the Catrice Beautifying Lip Smoother. And I really like these a lot. They're very similar to the Clarence ones. Um, these are like a dupe for the Clarence ones. And they're just really... Um, you know, natural and pretty on the lips. That's it right there. And um, they smooth out your lips and they're really nice. Okay, so these are the lip liners that I have. And I'm just going to go through these really, really quickly. I have this one from Urban Decay. And this is in the shade Native. It's a really pretty pale pink. I'm going to keep this. This is the Essence Lip Liner in Satin Mauve. I may give that one up. I have the Essence Lip Liner in in the nude um yeah i may give this one up as well i don't really use the blenders all too often this is in the shade nudist and i mean it's just that it's nude and yeah it's all janky already did you see that just like popped out i think that means it's time to go yeah there it is there i may just give this up yeah i'm gonna put it in the give up pile this is the Too Faced um, Perfect Lips. This is my favorite lip liner, guys. Um, this is so pretty. What is this? Spice? Perfect Spice. So I'm keeping that. I'll give up that. They're kind of similar. And um, I love it. This is Diva from Prestige. I'm going to give up that. I have Rouge Bunny Rouge. Um, what do you call it? Corrals. This is a gorgeous color. Um, it's just a really nice, like, mauve shade. A dusty mauve, I would say. I'm keeping that. It's very similar, though, to um, Too Faced Perfect Lips. Actually, I think that they're, like, identical. Yeah, this one's probably, like, a little bit more on the browner side. But they look so similar. But I do wear colors like this quite often. This is um, Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie, and um, just a really pretty, I don't know, like a pinky, pinky color, pinky mauve, I don't know, I'll keep that one. This is the Prestige Lip Liner in BB, and although I love this at a time, these were like my go-to, they dried really, really bad, um, and I mean, they're very, very pigmented but they're just so drying. Which could be a good thing for lip liners because you don't want them super creamy and then your lip liner, your lipstick won't stay. Um, but this is Silk. This one, you can't even really see it on my skin tone. I think I'm gonna give up this one. I am probably gonna keep this one though. Um, and then I have this other lip liner in Soft Berry. That is really, really pretty, but they're so similar. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep that. This is the Catrice Lip Liner in um, Rosy Rose. That is really pretty, guys. But I don't think I've ever used this color, but I don't have anything like it either. Um, I have this one. This is in uh, what are you, Rosy Brown from Catrice as well. I think I'm gonna give this up though. Giving you up. And then I have this one in True Red from Prestige. But it's not even like a true red. Is that a true red to you guys? It has like a lot of pink to it. 
I need to find a good red liner. But I think I'm gonna stay with this just for now until I find a really good red liner. So um, these are all the ones that I'm gonna give up, as well as the Marc Jacobs one. Um, yeah, so. I don't know. Hopefully I did good, guys. You guys are probably like, I, I did horrible. I pretty much kept everything. This is my throw out pile, if you want to check that out. So, not throw out pile. I'll, I'll give some away. This is the pile of the ones I'm keeping. Now, of course, it's still craziness, and I still may have to, like, go back and reevaluate. Um... But I think, you know, this is like my first big purge, so baby steps. Baby steps are very important or else this will just be like really overwhelming. Um, so I think for like my first good purge, I did, I did okay. I don't know. I wish I could show you guys like much better. Let me uh, bring back the camera. Okay, so I think I'm gonna give up these as well. Um, yeah, so these are gonna go on my go-away pile. Um, so yeah, so this is pretty much, yeah, everything. So like I said, I mean, baby steps, guys, right? Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I know I didn't, you know, do so successful, but I will, have uh, yeah, have a second round of this. Let's see if there's anything else that I need to purge. So that's it for now. I am in the hunt for like good acrylic organizers that don't break my bank so I have found a couple on Etsy but for now I just pop these little suckers um, in my vanity and they fit perfectly so I don't have them displayed like this I mean this is just for like purging and I don't have like a lot of room to really bring my cameras in um, to my vanity area I still wanted to show you guys like my little purging process so uh, I will see you guys in the next video bye guys Get